It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where representatives from the AFC and NFC will square off. It's the New Orleans Saints and the Kansas City Chiefs on Monday Night Primetime. It's the venue that's had plenty of success, come through it since the mid-2010s, as well as a few of trophies. It's GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Thanks for joining us, everyone. With my partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And like so many matchups in the NFL, Brock, our focus goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time, they definitely establish themselves as veterans who know how to win football games. Yeah, I think the word of the day, Kate, is definitely experience. Two yep. guys who've been through the season several times over have seen a lot at this point in their career and been through quite a bit on the field. All that experience is stored up there right between the ears. <laughs> and the one who is more skilled at leveraging that experience only likely is going to come away with the win. The ball is teed up, and we are ready to go. And we're off from Arrowhead. Nicole Hardman now on the return. The check is made, so this drive will begin at the 34-yard line. So here come the Chiefs, sticking the field for their first drive of the game. Leading them out is fresh off a third Super Bowl title. The standard for quarterback excellence today, Patrick Mahomes. This guy, Mahomes. <laughs> How many defensive coordinators have uttered that? This guy, Mahomes, all he's done is raise the bar of quarterback greatness in this league. He led the Chiefs to their fourth Super Bowl in five years. And Kate, this is what's remarkable to me. Just the sixth quarterback ever to win three of them. And he's still only in his eighth year in this league. First play is to the air. His first stop win of the game winds up incomplete. That drop ruins the payoff to a well-designed play. It got a man open, it beat the coverage. That's a call they can revisit in the future with hopefully a much better job finishing the catch. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Out of the gun, it's Mahomes. That's brought in by Hunt. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. That's a defense's goal, right, Kate? Just get us to third down so we can have a chance to get off the field. And that was a good adjustment on that stop in particular when the back ended up being the target and they were able to keep them short of the sticks. Third and short. Here's Mahomes. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll pick up enough to move the chain. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. New set of downs for him from the 46. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And he runs into a wall there. Multiple defenders ready to stop him cold at the line. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. As that linebacker makes that tackle right in the middle of the field, all I'm thinking about right now, Kate's training camp, because <laughs> that's the middle drill right there. That is textbook. What you do in training camp, coming to life when it matters. Second and ten now. Quick hitter complete. And he's able to cross midfield before going out. As any quarterback will tell you over the course of their career, it's not easy to deliver an accurate throw as you're about to get smacked. Third and four coming up now. Throwing is Mahomes. And it's incomplete, and that's going to bring him fourth down. I think it's safe to say that without that ball being tipped, we are looking at a big game. It's a missed opportunity to push that offense, but an even better play defensively to deny the throw. The Chiefs looking to put on fourth down, so on comes Matt Ariza to handle it. So this one will go out of bounds, and they'll start the drive inside their own 30. So now we'll get a look at the other offense as the Saints take the field. Leading them out in year 11. He's played 15 or more games every season in the league. A real Iron Man, Derek Carr. 
One thing you can always trust about Carr is to give you a lot of games and a whole lot of numbers as a starter each and every season. He's just got a lightning quick release. I love watching him throw a football, but he's not gotten a lot of chances at postseason moments. In time, the time is not on his side. They're going to start on the ground with Kamara. And finally, they bring him down. He shook off a couple of defenders there on a nice pickup. Now, after the run, we see he's visibly shaken up. Team medical staffers headed over to take a look. a good pickup. They've got second and four. Up the gut they go with Williams. And he'll be taken down after advancing this to the 37. Give him four yards there, and they only need one more now on third down. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know, that's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry, and you move the sticks. Slot man in motion left. Looking to throw on third and one. Complete beyond the marker. Now he's past the 25. And he breaks into enemy territory before being stopped on a huge game. Now right there, that's what you want to see on your opening drive. Boom, connect on a big shot and instantly you set a tone that you're not going to be afraid to be aggressive in this game today. Boy, do I love that. Thinking touchdown here after that big play. We've got first and ten from the red zone. Motion in one of the tight ends. Straight ahead with Williams. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. You know, this is an offense that will emphasize the ground game at different points of each and every contest. And as long as they can reliably get games like this, it's not going to change anytime soon. Working out of the gun. It's calm. The throw is caught. And they'll get this down nearly to the end zone. Instead, stopped at the two. It's a double-digit game, 10 yards, and now they've got first and goal. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. Pressure coming for Carr. And he will score. It's a New Orleans touchdown. The Saints get a perfect start. They've gone up 6-0. He finds one of his great receivers, Brock, and they are off to a great start to begin this ball game. Yeah, it's such a positive offensively when he could go find not just a field goal, but a touchdown on that opening drive. And defensively, ooh, this starts to shake the foundation of your preparation and makes you wonder what's in store. Blake Groupie to try the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. He feels it from the eight. Oh, he's shown some burst on this return. They'll begin from the 36 as the return is brought down. The Chiefs sending their offense out for the second time this game. And they're certainly hoping for some better results here after that first drive ended in a punt.
All right, the Chiefs in good field position here as they start out first and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. This one finds Kelsey. And the tackle's made just beyond midfield at the 48. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. Mahomes on first and ten. He fires one deep down. This is caught inside the 15. And they will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. The Chiefs cut it to a low point on the scoreboard. Xavier Worthy, the touchdown. Well, no doubt about it, Brock. That was a route they worked on in practice, and it manifested in a touchdown when the downs counted here. And no doubt about it, Kate, you grew up watching and celebrating Jerry Rice running that exact <laughs> route, didn't you? Yes, sir. You know it. You know it. <laughs> he was so good at it. Every receiver could do it some of the time, but Jerry and the best of them, they do it all the time, just like that one right there. Now Harrison Bunker for the point after. That one right down the middle. And we're all tied up. Ready up for its second drive of the contest. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Williams to start the drive. And he'll take this up to around the 30-yard line. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, and get the better defenses in this league. On the shotgun, Kong. Short pass caught by his tight end. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's good for a New Orleans first down. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him on a route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. From the gun, a carry by Williams. And he's able to reach that midfield stripe after some solid running. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Car to the air now. You know, you compare and contrast stats over the decades, Kate. One thing you see is the police percentages are through the roof. In this day and age, compared to the 60s and the 70s, the big reason is just completions like that. Utilizing every one of your eligible receivers at time, and running back in the flat. Able play action with Carr. Sure. I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or he just had a surprise break in concentration. It's so unusual at this level to see a drop pass unless there's a hit involved. Punt 
team is on now, and they get this away. And this will fly out of bounds to deny a return. They're going to mark it a little before the 20. The Kansas City offense back out there and set to go. And they're coming off an excellent series throwing the football that led to that touchdown, Brock. So you and I both expecting that defense to be looking for that on this series. They're out and set. First and ten. Lone back gets the handoff. He sneaks this through the middle, maybe a gain of two. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 24. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stops. It's a pickup of nine yards. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. That pass is caught by Smith Schuster. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stops. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket can get even more aggressive and take that shot. From the 40 on second down. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. They get six and a first down as well. Look up contested catch in the football dictionary, and you'll see that. I mean, I can't critique the defense there. They're in the hip pocket of that tight end. But these contested catches, these tight ends that can separate with their hands, utilize their body, even when you're covered, you're not. And he gets across midfield and into Saints territory. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable and it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Throwing again, Mahomes. He's got Watson. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. New set of downs for him at the 38. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Kelsey makes the catch. And he's stopped at the 31 yard line. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like force it into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Again, Mahomes to throw. That pass is complete to Kelsey. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him, only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. And they're going to stop him after he wiggles his way forward for two. That's the end of our first quarter. Three more to go still on Monday night. Scoreboard showing sevens on each side. Back to Arrowhead in just a moment. Second quarter about to get underway and an opportunity to score here for the Chiefs. 
Out of the gun, it's Mahomes. It's caught. And they will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. The Chiefs take a second quarter lead. Xavier Worthy, the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. So Brock, this offense starting to find its rhythm a bit as they finish things with a touchdown there to give them the lead. And the key word there that you said is finish because you want to have that mindset, even in early in the game, that field goals aren't going to cut it. So that's great work to make sure they finish with six points. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Turn this, Rashid Shaheed. Tackle made as the return gets it out to the 32. Here comes the Saints offense. They've got a chance to tie this up here as they trail 14-7. Keeping the defenders and getting up field. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Back to the air. Caught. To left sideline. Complete. And he'll have it down to the 44 yard line. Give him 24 on that play. And the Saints are going to have a first down. Move the chains. Gotta move this chains. Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Car here from the gun. Under the hands of Olave. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on sketch and get a little something coming out of it, too. Second down now, seven to go. Going again, it's gone. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on, it's incomplete. That's one he knows he should have had. And now it's third down. You know, I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or just had a surprise break in concentration. So unusual to see one dropped unless there's a hit involved. Car throwing on third. Complete beyond the marker. And he'll get this down to the 33-yard line. A nine-yard gain and good for a first down. Every time I see one of those angle routes, I think back to my day one install. Rookie minicamp in the NFL. Texas, angle route. 49ers of the 80s, they were making hay with it then. And the running back still doing it to this day. That one is caught left side of the field. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. Would have liked to have kept that big play, but the officials and penalties say no. It's got to come back. That holding penalty is going to make first down twice as tough. They're 20 from the marker to start things out. Looking out of the gun. It's caught. Got Williams, and it's complete. And he'll be brought down at about the 29. Year after year, the 
best offenses are multifaceted. It's not just the receivers or the tight ends that can make plays through the air. When you get running backs that can attack the middle of the field like that, man, is it difficult on defense. Second down now, seven to go. Pistol snap to Carr. And that one is dropped. Such great work to get all by himself. But he can't haul in the gimme, and that deep shot is missed. Wow. I think everybody on the offense was already thinking about the next play to run as they watch that short little throw to the tight end. You really don't expect to see many of those gimmies dropped. Motion to the left is Olave. They'll throw on third and long. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Trying to get it to Chris Olave. And now they're staring at a fourth down. Oh, that drop is such a bummer because it ruins the payoff of such a well-designed play, Kate. Got the man open, beat the coverage, then you gotta go finish it. You gotta go make that catch. I will say, keep that one in mind. They can revisit that play in the future. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And it's dropped back down now to a four-point game. It fed the kicker, man. That is a coach's best friend. Saves him so much stress to have a guy he can really trust to go out and get it from that distance consistently. Because from that far out, no kick is a guarantee. We've got a good one here. They've cut the lead to four as they send it away. Here's a return from the seven. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Oh, hang on there. Hang on a moment. So looks like we've got an injured player on the kick return. They're going to check on him now. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Throwing is Mahomes. He gets this one to Smith Schuster. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36 yard line. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. Second and three now. jump early. It cost him five yards. Back to the line they go. It's second down. They'll run here following the penalty. And he'll take this up to about the 34 before he stopped. It's a four-yard pickup and they need the same now here on third down. You know, okay, these are some of the little hidden plays in a game. It right? doesn't look like a whole lot on the stat sheet, but A, it gets you good yardage. B, it sets up your play action. And C, most importantly, keeps that defense guessing. Third and short. Here's Mahomes. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. That one gains seven. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. First and ten, it's Mahomes. Short pass, caught by his tight end. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They pick up 20 yards there. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. You want to become quarterback's best friend and do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. From the gun, it's Mahomes. No one 
up until he chucks this to another county. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. One of the tight ends motioning right. Back to the air, Mahomes. Quick hitter complete. And they get this down to the 28. It's a pickup of 11. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. They'll come up first and 10. throw for Mahomes. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. you Kate but he sure made getting that first down look really easy a lot easier than it's supposed to be for that defense and I think they'll hear about it when they get to the sidelines Mahomes on first and ten and he's got Watson and he'll go down looks like they're marking him at the 11. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. Motion man is the tight end here. Going left. Operating from the gun. Here's Mahomes. To rock this offense, looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. Butker to try the point after. Taken in at the eight. Find some space. He's past the 30. Some good work on that return. Brock gets this up to the 33. New Orleans back on offense and ready to go now. And down double digits, Brock. Field goals like we saw in their last drive aren't going to move the needle as much as they need to. Taken in by Shaheed. 
And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. It's not just imperative that a quarterback moves man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. Third and a long yard coming up. In for the marker with Williams. And he'll get them enough for a first down. Win the early battle. Get a little leverage. One man wins off the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. On the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Another run for Williams. And they're all over him again. He's dropped at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and 10. Stopped right at the line, but might as well have been a loss of yards as far as the offense is concerned. It's always humbling when you try force versus force, and the defense wins out. Second down, along with Williams. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in the wrong way. Don't know running back sorry. We did not give you any chance. Extra man in the secondary now for the Chiefs on third down. Now call. That is incomplete. Can not hang on through the contact? Well, that was almost a nice chunk play before he was able to recover and provide the hit that dislodges the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays deep. Here comes the Saints punting unit. Nicole Hardman on the Chiefs' return. And he'll maybe get two out of that, and that play brings us to the two-minute warning. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Throwing on first down, Mahomes. And he catches May down the right sideline. That one goes for 31 yards and a first down when all is said and done. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. Down inside the 40 now with a first down following that last play. Out of the gun, it's Mahomes. set it down. They rip off a big chunk of field and it sets him up with first and goal. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Working inside the red zone and it's caught. Chiefs boat racing them to the halftime locker room. Travis Kelsey, the touchdown. So he looks to and finds the big fella, and his tight end takes it in for six. Such a reliable weapon down in the red zone. It kind of reminds me like a point guard making an entry pass to that post player. Mm. When you trust your big people around you, and when a quarterback trusts his tight end like that, it makes a difference. Butker to try the point after. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Now to 
to kick this one away. His return stuck to the five. He stopped on the return at the 27. But well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guys' ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden Ratings Hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call, 1-844-MADDEN-1, and make your case for who should get a boost. Drive starts out with a first and ten. salvage that it's a loss on the play offense to the line for second down car here from the gun away before he brought it in a big missed opportunity looking for the back that time so they're left facing third long go with Williams on the counter and the defense is all over this one for a big loss the Chiefs signal for a timeout that's going to be their first They'll have two left to work with before halftime. They're out now, ready to punt it. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punch and sends this flying. Fair catch is made a yard or two short of midfield. No return on that punt. And the Chiefs will get set to go on offense. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Motioning the tight end left. First down throw, Mahomes hits the tight end on the corner route. And he flips the field for them before being taken down. Kate, that play so indicative of why tight ends in this league have become just an X factor. Right, they're big, they can block at the line of scrimmage, but the elite guys, they've got that speed and they can take something short and make a difference with it down the field. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. They motion the tight end over. First down from the red zone. Has it in close. And they will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. The Chiefs get more points to end a lopsided first half. Xavier Worthy, the touchdown. His third through the air this game. He can pack it in at this point, Brock. It is already a great game for him. Imagine what he could finish up with if he stays anywhere close to this pace. Well, this, this pace right here puts him in the record books. I mean, it is absurd what he's doing, and I love offensively. You keep calling it till they stop it. But goodness gracious, defense, you may want to double cover this guy. But Kerr to try the point after. one right down the middle and they'll continue adding to their lead
Rutger on now to kick this one away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. First and 10 now, with all of 15 seconds left to utilize in this half. They'll turn to the ground game and just run this clock out. And he'll take this up to about the 34 before he stopped. We have a timeout here, second one taken by New Orleans. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Second and six coming up here. He's back to throw. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he'll go down and we'll see right at the 39 yard line. Kansas City going to the dive look on third down. We've got six DBs out there. Looking to throw. He lobs it up. Looking deep to the right side. And they really went for it on third down. Didn't they? But the heave falls incomplete. Now they're facing fourth down. So that brings us to halftime here in KC. It's the Chiefs who've got the advantage heading into the locker room. Now we'll send you south to our Orlando studios for the EA Sports Halftime Report with Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Kick this one away. Fielded at the seven. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Saints offense ready to start this third quarter. This has become must-score territory now every time out as they trail by a full four possessions in this second half. drive will start out with a first and ten. Working out of the gun. It's Carr. That's incomplete for the moment. We do have a flag down, but it may not be good news for their offense. That's usually where we see holding call. He got a major fistful of jersey on that play, and it's going to end up costing him. Double the distance to go after that holding call. It's now first and 20. They run it from the gun with Kamara. And he's into the front for a gain of about two. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. All right, here we go. Second down. It's now third and nine. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. Carr throwing on third. He had a throw off, but a great defensive play to Jarrett Luce, incomplete. 
Well, that was almost one of those nice chunk plays you like to see in the NFL, Kate, before he was able to recover and provide the hit and ultimately dislodge the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays down the field. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. And he's just going to fair catch this one, and that's brought in at the 39-yard line. We don't get a return out of that punt. And it'll be their football. The Chiefs in good field position here as they start out first and ten. Now it's Mahomes. Well, his first real mistake. That's intercepted. That's Demario Davis. And the Saints have the football at what looks to be the 37-yard line. Well, they left the Great position to be in, right? But a shaky start to half number two with that interception. We know that no lead in the NFL is safe. A one-point lead, something that looks insurmountable. How many of these games so often come down to one possession in the end? With a half a football left, you just can't give away too many gifts and too many possessions. Markers reset, ball at the 37. Carl with it on first. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. Kate, if there was one throw in the game plan that kept me up at night more than any other, it was an out route versus zone coverage. Because you got to throw with anticipation, but you also got to make sure those defenders' eyes aren't reading you like a book. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Running behind center with Camaro. And they get him right at the line of scrimmage. They'll need four to convert now after no gain on second down. You know, Kate, over the years I've heard running backs say there's just times you got to run in the darkness. And when linebackers fill that hole like that right in the middle of the field, he ran right into the darkness and the pain of that linebacker. Carl with it on third and short. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And they haul him down just a foot or two shy of the red zone. They get an even 10 on that play. And that's good for a New Orleans first down. You know, they call that the money down for a reason because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's a money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Kamara now on first and 10. And he'll have a short pickup down to the 17. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, Largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. From the 17. Too much on that, and it sails through the end zone incomplete. QBs, well, they're a lot like the great shooters in the NBA. Hey, listen, sometimes you're going to miss. You just got to shake it off and keep shooting away. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Now they'll throw out of the gun. Connects with Johnson. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep it short like that, I promise you some money will follow. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. 
And it shrinks to a three-score game again. The lead, 22. Inspiring a bunch of confidence in himself right there, Kate. Second time they brought him out for a field goal, and second time, well, he's knocked it right through. Trust is earned in a number of different ways on a field, but that's the best way to gain it as a kicker. On is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. Here's a return from the seven. Finds some space, he's past the 30. His return gets him to the 32-yard line before he's taken down. The Chiefs offense set to take over again. And all the touchdowns are sure gonna catch some eyes around the league, but sure not unexpected for those of us who saw how well he was throwing it back when he got his first couple of scores. Yeah, and if anything, he's only continued to improve and play better as this defense tried and tried and failed and failed to find any way to slow him down. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. On first down, they'll run. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. That's a pretty good stop on first down. This defense now gets a chance to dictate, and that's what all the great defenses want to do, Kate. They want to dictate it on their terms and not just be reacting to what the offense is always doing. Off the play fake, it's Mahomes. This one's hauled in on the left side. And just gets back to the line of scrimmage. It was as if the defense knew what play was coming. That was a play they knew they could defend, and boy, did they ever, stopping it right at the line of scrimmage. It's third and eight. Need to get a chunk here. From the gun, it's Mahomes. That's caught for the first. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a 24-yard gash, and it gives them the first down. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Lone back in the backfield, and he gets the handoff. And the middle hole. They don't get anything on the run. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. These linebackers of today, they are so quick. They're so twitchy. You don't get a body on them in a hurry, they're going to stick you right at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Operating from the gun. Here's Mahomes. He goes back to him yet again. Complete. And he gets down to the 24 before he stops. They'll get 18 yards there. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. To the line we go. They're set first and 10. Mahomes. That pass is complete to Kelsey. And he's going to be stopped at the 17-yard line. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Second and three now. Out of the shotgun, he'll give it to him inside. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Ooh, I like that. I really like that execution to move the chains. Now that third down call that they had ready, well, they could stick it right back in their pocket for a later occasion. A new set of downs awaits them. Here's first and ten. Out of the gun, it's Mahomes. This one's caught. And he's short of the first after a mile gain. You know what I love to say, you never go broke taking a profit, and you often gain profits when you use your eyes as a quarterback. Those hitch routes, those underneath throws, oftentimes it's the eyes of the quarterback looking downfield and then taking that short completion.
Here's Mahomes now. He brings it in. And he'll go down shy of the end zone. They mark him at the four. You know, Kate, over the years, I've heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush your passer. you got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. Third down, one yard to go. Throwing is Mahomes. Complete beyond the marker. And they will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. The Chiefs keeping the pedal floored and adding six more. That is his sixth passing score of the game. A lot of quarterbacks could go several weeks without throwing that many touchdowns. And now, keep in mind, he's only one off the NFL record of seven in a single game. Butker to try the point after. One splits the uprights and they'll continue adding to their lead. Kick this one away. Starting from the five. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The New Orleans offense set to go now. They managed three on their last drive, but down inside the red zone, disappointing not to come away with a touchdown. Get this drive started. First and ten. They're going to start on the ground with Camara. And their struggles on the ground continue as he's tackled after a small game. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. If there's ever a play we could call garden variety in the NFL, <laughs> I think we just saw it right there. That's an uneventful run and a pretty sound stop there defensively. are pretty clear it's hard to move the ball in this league with short little dinks and dunks you've got to get the explosive jump you got to get the big play and that throw to the outside that gets the job done car now on first and ten got a man over the middle complete and he stopped now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about Fighting all he could to keep his quarterback upright, but across the line there, that earns the holding penalty. That holding penalty is going to make first down twice as tough. They're 20 from the marker to start things out. On the shotgun, Kong. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. Going to have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. And now they face second and long. You know, that's one of those cases that we see it at every level. He simply took off before he got full possession, and that's simply a drop. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Camara running out of the gun. And there's a sign of life from the ground game. He's forward with a nice pickup. He gets him eight yards, but they still need 12 now on third down. I'm not kidding you, Kate. A run of that length at the NFL level, honestly is the equivalent of a run of 15-plus at the high school level. It's hard in the run game to make yards, and they just got a very successful one. Third and long from here. He has the first over the middle, and he gets down to the 24 before he stopped. 
They get 18 yards out of it and a new set of downs. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for short yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play just like that. Going on first down, it's caught. Oh, he got hit as he was throwing it. Unsurprisingly, it falls incomplete. Second down coming up. Perhaps a bit late breaking towards the ball, but still just enough time to get a finger on it and knock it away. This, our last play of the quarter. Tight end going in motion here. Second and ten, here's Khan. Taken in by Shaheed. Decent game here, but short of the first. Only one quarter remains in our final game of the week. That's the end of the third. It's Saints ball as we start the fourth, but any efforts might just be futile facing that deficit. that won't take that type of result every snap. Good execution, quality gain, and it move the sticks. And they've got themselves another first and ten. Car here from the gun. The throw is caught. And he pushes it all the way to the goal line, but goes out at the one. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm, but these outcuts, it is so imperative, and the best of them make it look oh so easy. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. They send the tight end in motion left. Up the gut they go with Williams. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Kate, it's amazing how fast these guys are on the field and how fast your fortunes can turn. Second and short run, you're feeling good about yourself. And with a negative play, well, now it comes a critical third down. All plays on the table here for third and three. Working out of the gun, it's Carr. And he will score, it's a New Orleans touchdown! The Saints putting up points in a game decided. Chris Olave with the touchdown. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups. And when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. Groupie to try the point after. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. He feels it from the eight. He's got a lane up past the 30. And a great return has the offense just a touch shy of midfield as they start this drive. The Chiefs are out once again. Their offense led by Patrick Mahomes.
All right, the Chiefs in good field position here as they start out first and ten. Mahomes back in the backfield, and they give it to him. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. trying to set him up with a short third down run but he said uh-uh nope not on my watch i'll just go get it all right here now playbook's wide open for first and ten. First and ten from the 41 back to the well again and he'll advance this down to the 38 on that run solid four yard gain there and now they've got second and six coming up this defense may have been headed the wrong way initially on that counter run, but they never lost contain. As that play shifted back, they flowed with it and caught him before he could break it up the sideline. Back-to-back -back carries here. And they'll get there and stop him at the line. No gain on the play, and it brings up third and seven. Not every corner in this league can make the play he just made right there. Sure, there's pure coverage, guys. Not really known for their tackling, but this guy, well, he's someone who isn't afraid to stick his nose in there and make a stop. Third down, it's Mahomes. On target to Worthy. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Those little short throws, they are high percentage and certainly bread and butter. But they really run the risk of a quick tackle just like that and being stopped short of the sticks. Fourth and three, drive on the line. They'll go, it's Mahomes. He's got it to his running back. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve, some call it automatic, but it's sure nice as a quarterback when you got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. First and 10 now from the 30. Here's Mahomes. Gets this one to Watson. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. The goal of running that drag route is to get it to him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. They picked up a good chunk, and there was nearly room to add even more. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Back to the air, Mahomes. And this one too far in front of him. It's incomplete. Looking for Travis Kelsey that time. And now they need to get four on third down. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered Kate on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Throwing again, Mahomes. Quick hitter complete. And he's brought down for a loss. <laughs> I'll tell you, that is a humbling moment to see a completed third down pass actually go backwards instead of towards the sticks. So on fourth down, the Chiefs field goal unit and Harrison Butker headed out. From the left hash, this would be 43 yards. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. Grows further to 25 points. Get another shot across the bow of a ship that's already sinking here, Kate. He could have made that field goal. Heck, he could have turned around and kicked it directly at his coach because it feels like they've got this one in hand. Butker on now to kick this one away. Kickoff taken at the three. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. 
The Saints ready to return their offense to the field. And all game, they have struggled to attack this deficit. Maybe they can do a little window dressing here. They're out and set. First and ten. Here's Carr. To the outside and complete to Olave. And he's out of bounds. Just a step short of the 40. Give him 13 on that play. And the Saints are going to have a first down. New set of downs for him at the 38. Carr with it on first. This is complete to Olave. And he's out of bounds just past, looks like, the 40-yard line. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Second and six coming up here. From the 42. Olave with the catch. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 22 on that one. And that's good for a New Orleans first down. Throwing again, it's caught. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. Just couldn't hang on through the contact. So second down coming up. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Back to the air, Carr. Setting up the wide receiver screen. And this one does not go far. How's your block shedding out there, boys? Because they need to get through some blocks to hang that screen up quickly. And they were Johnny on the spot. Let's see what they draw up on a third and seven. Carr back to throw. Defense did its job, forced the offense into a third long, and that, in large part, partner, led to that interception. Such a dichotomy, Kate, in so many ways. Offensively, we hear all the time what? Stay on schedule, stay on schedule, avoid these situations. Defensive coaches, you know what they say, earn the right to rush the passer, earn the right to make them one-dimensional, and when you do, go pay it off. And they did in the biggest of ways with that huge INT. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Blown back gets the handoff. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. It's a gain of three for him. That brings up second and seven. Give it to him again. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. They got two yards there. That leaves him with third down and five. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Why not go back to it again if it's working? Complete. A gain of 27 yards there. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play.
This will be the last play before our two-minute warning. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And he's bottled up the line on the final play before the two-minute warning. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Here's the long back on the handoff. No gain that time, and now they'll face third and 11. Job one of so many D tackles in this league is eat up space. Don't get moved off your spot. But the difference makers, they just not only eat the space, they eat those runners too. Wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. Try and pick this up on the ground. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. These edge defenders in the league today, Kate, they've got so much on their list to do. A huge to-do list. They gotta get to the passer, they gotta set an edge, and they gotta stop that run game, not just on the end of the line, but in that case, right in the middle of the field. So on fourth down, the Chiefs field goal unit and Harrison Butker headed out. It's a deep shot for him from that left hash. And this one had a brief chance, but not a good kick in the end. He misses it. And looking at the scoreboard, Brock, I think they can weather the miss there. Well, once you get out beyond 50 yards, everything in the process has got to be perfect. It's a good effort, but it's going to wind up off the mark. The Saints and Chris Olave ready to take over once again on offense. The Saints enjoying some good field position to start this drive off. First and ten coming up. Looking to throw here and shake off that previous INT. Gets this one to Shaheed. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. Loose laid it down to approach here from the 40. Car now on first and ten. Got a man over the middle, complete. And he stopped at the 31 yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Shotgun, calm. The Chiefs get to him, and he's dropped. We have a timeout here, second one taken by New Orleans. Still one more in their pocket to use. Offense going to take its third and final timeout. And now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout at least. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. Car here from the gun. seconds remaining this one misses the tight end and it's going to be second down 
Well, he needed another second to deliver the throw he wanted to. You've got to give a lot of credit that time, Kate, to the pass rush for getting in and forcing him to dish it before he was ready. Second and ten, here's Carr. It's caught. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Try to figure out what went wrong. Ruminate on the 